Um, hello, welcome to the November Parks and Recs meeting. Would somebody like to make a motion to begin? I'll make a motion to begin. I'll, and I'll second it. Okay, I'll take a roll. Kate Smith here. Sue McFadden. Present. Robert Smith. Here. Dennis Kapolinski. Here. John Jones. Here. Jennifer McConnell. Bradley Chason. Here. Mark Jacobs. Here. Demita Dubo Dubose. Do both. Okay. That's right. And welcome. Thank you. We have a new member. Um, does somebody want to approve the minutes from October? I'll approve the minutes. And I'll second. Okay. Financial reports. All right. For the ice arena, um, after looking over the numbers that we had for revenue this uh, past month, does anybody have any questions? Um, I, yeah, I just had a few. Mm -hmm. What was the big comedy show? This is from Maplewood. Uh, the comedy show. This is something that we're going to offer in the spring. We have a comedian coming out, and it'll be for the kids. Um, I think we're charging $5 a person. Um, and he does about an hour show, and it'll be out over at Maplewood Center. Cool. That's yeah. something different. Mm -hmm. And what about the next thing, Wildlife Safari? Wildlife Safari, that's uh, where they bring a van full of animals and we'll have them in a room. Um, that'll be, I think, in January. So um, that, again, will be something very inexpensive, I think $5 per person, um, for the kids to come out and see some different animals than what you would see at the pet store and stuff cool. like that. Cool. Yeah. Where do you get them from? Uh, the Wildlife Safari, they are the curators of these animals. So, like, they are basically, it's like a zoo in a sense but they're like very unique, so. Brad, how much is- Sign it up to oh. the senior center, so it's gonna double the funds for the senior center next year. There we go. So how much is it to get in the comedy show? I believe it's uh, $5 per person, but I can get back with you on it. Okay. Um, There's a flyer at- uh, At Maplewood. Yeah, There's a flyer yeah. at Maplewood I saw it today when I was over there. Yeah. For that and the wildlife uh, oh, okay. events okay. as well. Any other questions or comments regarding revenue? Okay, moving on to expenditures. All right, in regards to the ice arena, do we have any questions about purchases? The Ayers distri distri Distributing, there we go, I can't say the word. The Ayers Distributing, that is uh, for our Easter egg hunt that we're gonna be offering in the spring. That's our 10,000 eggs that we always buy. Okay. So, so you just already purchased them? Yep. Just trying to be right, ahead of the game. That's right. <laughs> That's, That's right. Mm -hmm. So they're already locked and ready to go at the, uh, the ice arena. So we've already got them. So we're good to go. So we won't be hard boiling eating those. No. <laughs> Yeah, I can cook them, trust me. Okay, so no questions for our Lice Arena, Maplewood, anything? I'm just glad you sold out the breakfast with Santa. That'll be this coming Saturday. That'll start at 9.30 a.m. Yeah. And we're pretty excited for it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Who's playing Santa Claus? Santa. <laughs> Who's playing Santa Claus? There is no playing Santa Claus. Uh, Santa, Santa is Santa. <laughs> Santa right. is Santa. That's right. The same uh, Santa as we've been having, though. The same Santa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. We'll have some elves there as well to He's help out. coming a little oh, okay, early. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. There'll be, a, there'll, uh, be a picture opportunity and stuff like that. Uh, stayed over from the parade. Yes. Yeah. We have them up in the Best Western. <laughs> Any questions or comments regarding expenditures? No. Move it along. Okay. Program reports. All right. Something new that we're going to be putting out uh, at Maplewood here pretty soon is starting to offer some birthday party packages. Um, we're really trying to think of different ideas for the Maplewood Center and all of our rooms that we have to offer. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to put together two packages. One, the first package is package A in a sense, and it will cover for uh, 20 kids and 20 adults, and it will be... We're still working out the pricing for sure, um, but it's <coughs> gonna be something that's very reasonable. It's not gonna be something that's astronomical. Um, but with that package, you get all of your table costs provided, all your paperware, like your cups and, and plates and stuff like that, and napkins. 
any silverware that you need. So basically, all you'll need to bring is your birthday cake, and, and if you want to bring pizza in, you can do stuff like that. And we're going to provide a balloon for every child. So um, just so then that way it kind of spurs some parents to be able to offer that instead of having it at their house, they can come to us, and then we help with the cleanup afterwards. Now, how many parties could you handle in a day? Lots. Okay, you got enough rooms there for Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have designated, like, the community room, the Tuscan room. Like, there's a lot of different options that we have. Is your um, electric vehicle going to be just a one-room home with people? Yep. Taking the electric? Absolutely, yep. Where are you getting your paper products from? Uh, Dollar it's mostly... <laughs> <laughs> What'd well, you say? It's Dollar, Dollar Tree. Store. It's really a variety of different places. So, like, we've, we've worked with Amazon and Sam's Club mostly because we can get the things in bulk. Right. And that's how we want to do it. Um, that's really where we're starting at is the Sam's Club area for the, the paper products and the silverware and stuff. So, um, I was wondering so if they would give, like, some kind of discount if you, you know, continue to go to them yeah. exclusively. Okay. Um, beyond that, uh, Nerf Wars had eight participants, and then Parents Night Out had nine participants. Breakfast with Santa, we were very excited about it, sold out with 80 participants. Um, and then our senior Christmas party, that sold out as well with 100 participants. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to that yeah. as well. Um, just kind of touching with, on a couple of things. The food pantry, we served 206 individuals and 95 households. So another great program that we yeah. offer over at Maplewood. Um, the food pantry donations, we don't, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have put a dollar amount there, but it's 1,400 pounds, not $1,400, um, and 25 turkeys right before Thanksgiving. So um, things continue to be doing pretty well over there at Maplewood. The, uh, Megan and Lori and Danielle and all those girls, they do a great job. So we're continuing to think outside of the box and keep bringing in programs and stuff. Um, can we talk about Breakfast with Santa just for a minute? Mm -hmm. I noticed that you put it on expenditures, but it's not on revenue yet. I think it was on the revenue for last meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I missed. Double check that and get back to us. Yeah, it was, it was $12 per child, so 80 times 12 is... 960. Yeah. Yes. So that's weird. I don't know why I had it on. Didn't have it on here. I was just wondering about um, cost versus yeah. profit. What are they having? What are you? Uh, it's pancakes? pancakes, sausage, and I think bacon. Mm. Yep. Coffee, right? You're coffee, yes. Yeah. We'll have coffee. some sort of juice as well. <laughs> oh, my coffee. It's <laughs> early. You get a glass of water. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Um, any questions or comments regarding program reports? Nope. You get a pretty good turnout for the mother and son. Let's have some fun. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that was the first time you ran that, right? Yep. And we actually have a participant at the table. What's that? They went great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's awesome to hear that you've been, you know, happen. utilizing the events she too. Okay, moving on to old business. All right, so Civic Rec, that is our online registration software. Um, we've already started the training process with that. So uh, this coming Thursday will be our second training for that. Um, the first one was based on facilities and understanding how to put in prompts um, when you put in a activity. So like say for, if you're registering for a kid's dodgeball, so you're signing up as an individual child, right? We're gonna to wanna to have a shirt size. So what we can do with this new program is we can actually put a prompt in to say, what's your child's shirt size? So that goes into the report for us. So when we go through and look at the rosters, we can actually see, okay, how many kids larges we have, how many kids mediums and stuff like that. So it makes it a lot easier for us on the front end, instead of having to call the parents, you know, what's your child's shirt size, like we've done in the past. And they're still there. Well, they can't move forward in the program unless they do it. So that's a thing. So how has the rest of the Civic Rec been going? 
Uh, good. I mean, we are online to go live probably the end of January. So we have four trainings that we have to go through before we go live. So this next one, I believe, is on um, uh, activities and how we input activities. And it teaches all the staff how to, you know, how you got to put in the dates and then basically the price and the description and stuff like that. And including waivers and everything like that, too. So. Okay. All right. And then Helen Park update. So if you guys look at this form right here. So originally when we talked about this probably three or four months ago, um, we had just talked about putting a uh, sidewalk through Helen Park and then just kind of doing a, a square around it with two areas for permanent seating. Um, so we kind of wanted to change it up a little bit to kind of make it more of like a, a rounded kind of walkway and a little bit more softer um, to where it kind of gives us more opportunities in case we upgrade the, the playground equipment. We have a little bit more of a bigger Room. space for it. So um, what this drawing is, is it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a butterfly shape in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, so this way also we'll still have the permanent seating on both sides but um, it kind of gives like almost like a track for parents if they have like a stroller with a younger child they can walk around while the children are playing on the, the playground so did this design go out for bid yet so that's where i have to find out from the wayne county to see if we have to go back out for bid considering we've already gone out for it so i think and i'm not for sure on this but we might have to go out for bid again just to be on the safe side but then that way we can get it hopefully done in the spring. I think you're going to have to. Yeah. That would be my guess. This is just so long. Mm -hmm. I would, it really needs to get done. Yes. <laughs> hopefully this spring. I agree. Where are you going to put the, uh, that, I don't know what's right word. You were saying that you were going to have something to bolt down the oh, picnic permanent tables. Couches? Yeah, permanent picnic tables. Yeah. Yep. So if you look on the photo at the the bottom left, you'll see those two little squares. Mm -hmm. Those are supposed to be picnic tables. Oh. So we're gonna put two there and then two, two. on the northeast side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So if there's a couple of families there, they, they all have their own space and they can hang out and um, be able to see. Absolutely. Are you going to have any benches in there? Uh, well, I believe we have a bench. Yeah, there's one on the proposed sidewalk where it says, like, right at the end of walk. Oh, right, right. There's another right. bench there. Yeah, I see it. We, we made this extremely small, so you had to okay. squint. I told you about that. I know, I know. You Part got them on both sides, all right? <laughs> Good thing you don't have enough room to have both sides. I think one right there. Oh, those, okay, yeah, okay, like okay. Yes. I'm looking yeah. up here. There's there are. Just when it makes the turn, yep. there's Lamps a bench there, there. Yeah. there's a bench yeah. by the block. Okay. Table. Okay. Yeah. And I'll go again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I need to get a new That's for my glasses. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? What's that? Did you see where the two benches are at? Yeah. One's down here and one's like here. Right? John? Yep. Here and there? Died. No. No? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's right. They yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Does anybody have like suggestions or comments? No, I think I like this. Right. I, I do you start too. with that and then you grow with it. Yeah. It's smart to make it, it bigger. Gives you enough place if you want to expand ahead. your playground equipment. You can put it in the corner here. Yeah. Maybe a bigger swing set or something. Yeah. yeah. And like all the inside, we want to make it uh, the engineered wood fiber. So it'll be ADA. Um, so then that way it's just, it's the bigger footprint and then that way kids can run around on all of that stuff. Yeah. So. <clears throat> all right. So if we're all good with that, we'll move on to the next uh, photograph. That this one's... Do you know what the distance is on there? Mm. If you, if you... 170 feet. No, if you were to walk that and then the circle. Oh. It says oh, it almost one fourth mile loop. Oh, sorry. Huh? Um, I was moving on. Yeah, the, en the engineer will have it. Yeah, I can ask Ray. No, just 
wondering because I know right. more and more people are looking for walking paths. Right. Right. So if that's like a half a mile or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because like, a lot of people use the one at Rotary a lot. I don't. I don't see that as a half. I don't, I don't think it's a half at all. I'm thinking quarter. Quarter. Maybe, maybe a quarter. All right. But be good to get an actual measurement. measurement. You could actually put it out there somewhere for people that want to. Uh, yeah, because it's nice that like City Park is 1.2. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, and then the next one we have is Florence Park. Um, this is something that we're going to go with for we're going to go for a grant um, to try to accomplish this goal. This is something that's been wanted and desired from numerous people. Uh, for Florence Park to get a walkway mm -hmm. or a walking trail. So basically, <clears throat> if you look at Florence Street and then you're looking down, so you'll see the playground there kind of in like the gray haze in a sense. But in all of the red, this would be all asphalt walkway. Um, and then basically you could make a whole loop out of it because we would just connect to the existing concrete walkway that goes through it. So in other words, you take the, the straight road. Yep. Yeah. And then make your and turn. And just make a, like a U, come in with like a U to it. And it says here almost, it's almost a quarter mile loop. Yep. Oh, does it say it's a quarter mile loop? Yep. yep. Yeah. And then also at the top here, we've also incorporated some parking spots. So if you're driving to the park with your kids, you can park and there's, a, <clears throat> there's ADA accessibility as well. Um, so in case you needed to be able to utilize that, there will be a ramp as well. Okay. So you can get up onto the walkway nice and easy. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, so inside the red lands, that's going to be black asphalt, right? And you're going to connect to the concrete. Yep. And we've already gotten a quote on it. It's going to be about $45,000 just for the asphalt and the concrete. So um, we're trying to think of uh, ways to kind of maybe make it a little bit more convenient to uh, is by adding a couple of benches during the walkway as well. So if you're like an older individual, um, maybe you can't walk really far, there's a couple of pit stops so you can make throughout your walk. Mm, okay. Hey, do you know how far the uh, benches are on City Park? Or I honestly don't know. Okay. Yeah, no, you just, I know. And those things Thank need you. to be replaced. I've, I've started kind of can looking into buy the, Can you buy the backs and the, uh, the seat? Whole thing, yeah. That's all made one sure. piece. They won't let you buy like a back or a seat. I haven't found one manufacturer that will let me do that. There's got to be somebody out there. Who Look on Facebook those. Marketplace; they have everything. <laughs> there. No, but I'm just thinking there's got to be somebody aftermarket out there that probably just makes those because all it does is look like it's just steel. Right. It's just plastic coated steel. Right. And then it's it dipped. Worth looking into. Yeah. Well, we also want to go towards like the, the surface mount region because a lot of like, so at Kiwanis Park, we have all those benches that are just sinking to the ground. Like yeah. mm -hmm. too. I want to get the surface mount to where we put a concrete slab yeah. and then we mount it to that. So, you know, 20 years from now, if we need to replace it, we can literally just unbolt it, right. put the new one on, right. hopefully if they make them the same size and all that other stuff. Just to make it a little bit easier for us. Right, and the thing I was thinking is if you could get the backs and the seats, mm -hmm. because a lot of times I looked at the frames, the frames still look Fly. good, but the back and the seat yeah. are bad. Yeah. So you would think that there's somebody out there yeah. that would fabricate those. Yeah, I haven't found them yet, unfortunately. But I will continue to look. Um, you got another year. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's basically our Florence Park update. So we're going to be going for that grant. I got to get all the information in by December 2nd. So, um, yeah, that's basically where we're at with that. Hopefully it doesn't take two years like the last grant. <laughs> no, no. It, it shouldn't. The, the, this grant is a little bit more quick. All right. That's great. I like to see that. Yeah. So um, not much of an update for the city park grant other than we are going to start looking. Um, we got the information from Ray on what we were going to be putting in when we first originally went out for the, the grant for city park playground. Um, and we want to try to see if there's anything that we could update uh, as in regards to playground equipment and 
seeing if there's anything new out there. So we've got a lot of brochures that we're gonna start looking at. Um, if I were to put together like a field trip to go like visit other playgrounds that have recently been installed, would any of you guys be interested in going to that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thing you get your bus license. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few yeses. <laughs> you know, just How a few people. Probably be a short bus. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm in the back of the pickup. Yeah, right? That would work. Um, See, so yeah, that that's basically where that's at, but we have gotten the all clear to start, you know, putting all that together. The only thing that we can't change from what we originally went out for was the poured in surface and then the engineered wood fiber that we designed into it, we can't change that because it's ADA. Um, those are the only things we can't change, but we can pretty much change anything else that we want. Are you going to stay within the green? Yes, in that original like design in a sense. Are you going to start in the spring? That's my hope, like to go out for bid, like probably within the next couple of months. Right. So for like concrete and the surface and stuff. The problem is, is the steel is still really backlogged. I have a friend that's down in Celine. She ordered playground equipment in July and she still hasn't received it. Mm -hmm. So that, that's gonna be the only thing that holds us up is the steel. And if we go with steel playground equipment, which I'm sure there's gonna be some component of that. <clears throat> and just trying to make sure that we have all of our stuff before we start ripping stuff out, you know, so. Plus, lead time's long on um, a lot of steel right now. Yeah. Like I saw a lot of um, desk, oh, really? metal and wood. Yeah. 20 weeks. Oh my gosh. That's just like they can't thin get wood. stuff. They can't yeah. get wood, they can't get metal, they can't get stainless, yeah. they can't, they just can't get anything. Okay, park right. inspections. Uh, park inspections, top three. Um, don't know if any of you guys have gone around to the parks recently and didn't know if we wanted we to have a report to this year. Uh, do we? Yeah. Oh, yes. It's November. November. All yeah. right. Do you have yours? Sure. <laughs> Does anybody else? It's the first no, time I he's do. had it. All right. At this time of the year, nothing it's changes. It's the first. That's good. Thank I'm you. Impressed. Nothing changes. I need a reminder. I will start reminding all of you. Uh, I'm writing you, it down right now. the last there. meeting, you were. <laughs> you know. I wasn't here. Yeah, Robert, you would have been here. Yeah, right, I could have told you. <laughs> Dennis could have asked them all to all you because Dennis had them. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. That's right. These are the ones I gave you. Um, I noticed that my graffiti on the hospital sign is still there. Oh, jeez. So, At City Park, right? Yeah, I mean, somebody needs to, I mean, it's C U M M doctor. Do what? Oh. What, um. There's, it's graffiti yeah, on the hospital sign. They're, they're calling the doctors a foul word. Aha. Uh -huh. What? The, I recall you mentioned court, right? graffiti before. I think so. Not quite so um, descriptive, but I do remember you mentioning it. Yeah. What park does Demita have? Um, I believe we one? talked What's close about. To our house? I am by um, Florence. Who has Florence? Florence? I you. think you. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I think you do too. If you have Florence, you can give you, it to you, you, you can right. have Florence, right. Florence. Right. you have Smoller, right. you have. It's great. There's a walking path coming, maybe. Oh, hang on. It's really great to I live five houses Let's from double check. Rotary. Okay. And it, my first uh, we'll place sure. here, I had Rotary. Mm -hmm. Brad, 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 It's so great. Now, when you. It's yours by default. Okay. All right. Salt. Here. How do you like that? See how easy that counter? Right, right. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Don't expect and everything. we expect this in January. <laughs> and, and, but, but don't expect everything to be quite that easy. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, ma'am. No. So <laughs> next week, that'll be your inspection right. form you can fill out um, for our yes, November before. then January is the next meeting. January. 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 January is the next right. meeting. Okay, how often are they filled out? This run Every time we uh, have and give um, it to her so she It can should say, um, you, know, you know what we'll do for you? We, say, I have all the top. last reports that we had. Mm -hmm. Before the night's over or before you leave, we'll have Brad run a copy and give you a copy of it just so you can see what people said about the different parks so you 
give you an idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And are there anything over and above so are we, that you see? Feel free. Are we picking three to focus on? Yeah. Tonight? So, well, um, these are the three that we picked for each from last I would have been here last meeting. <laughs> and I think you should. <laughs> This would remain the same. And these no, would remain the same. What they did, these are, yeah. These will all remain the same until they're yeah. So unless something else pops up to where you think that it's more important than these things that are on here, this is going to be a flowing document. It's well, my park something. only has one thing, so I'm, I'm going to have to it's check major. it out and get back to you about that. But it's that. major. It's a major thing. Yeah, but you're an overhaul on that. Install walkway. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. Big time. It should have already been done. I know. Look, they won't even cough up 50 cents for our cola park. You're getting a million dollars now. You're so mad about that, right? <laughs> <cola. Yeah. laughs> Can't even afford it. Yeah. Ink to make Brad, they're not going to change these nets until springtime. Yes. At that'll, park. that'll wait till the spring right. to where it's better even weather. The and yeah. the guys can actually get out there with the big uh, boom truck. Yeah. So it makes it a lot easier for yeah. them. Even though he heaved concrete pavilion. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can't yeah, do in the winter. Yeah, weather, in right. City Park, is that what you're talking about? No, that's in Moeller Park. Oh, in Moeller? Yeah, Moeller, yeah. The concrete under that pavilion. Oh, yeah. Thing, yeah. And these vines, they could probably do it now, but I would rather do that in the spring, in the early spring. Yeah. You know, can't they just the vines. spray them and just have them die? Yeah. Yeah, but you got to get them off. They'd be straggly. Is somebody's mm -hmm. house? I think they're on, the, aren't they the ones on the fence? It's the basketball court ones. That's something that even my parks kids could actually take care of if they're just kind of looking for something to do during the day. What are park kids? Oh, I'm sorry, our park attendants. So we have part-time park attendants that we have scheduled usually in the morning and then in the evening um, each day so they can open up bathrooms and stuff like that. But during the winter time, it kind of slows up because not everybody else is going out to the park. Yeah, there's no bathrooms to open, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, so it kind of slows up on that end, um, but if you know it's during the day and nothing's going on, we could definitely shoot those kids over there and kind of have them tackle it. That would be a good task. Yeah. Any questions or comments regarding old business? No, ma'am. I don't know. I'm speaking for everybody. No, miss. I'm honest. good. Okay. New business. All right. So uh, officially. Demita has joined us as of uh, before this meeting of doing her swearing in process and everything. So Demita, do you want to kind of tell everybody about yourself? Well, I'm Demita DeVos. I work currently for the state of Michigan for 13 years as a probation agent for Wayne County. Um, I love my job. I've only had six bad days in 13 years. So <laughs> oh, I really enjoy what I do. Um, I am a a doctorate student at Grand Canyon University. I have five classes left to obtain my organizational leadership, my PhD in organizational leadership, okay. and I have my own tutoring company. So there you go. that oh, is nice. about me. Yeah. Oh, She's good. actually worked with our FRC program. I have. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was a tutor. Um, was it for the right? I don't know. It was yeah for the Family Resource Center. I was I tutored there. I volunteered there, and I did some seminars there for um, some teenagers. Welcome. We're happy to have you. Yep. Yes. Uh, a great new addition. Is, Absolutely. Is her term filling in for Kathy, or is she getting a brand new term? She gets a brand new term, so she's going to go till 2024. Okay. Good. All right, uh, the next thing we had was um, switching our preventative maintenance plan over at the ice arena. Um, so <clears throat> currently we use Tech Mechanical as our main maintenance, preventative maintenance, uh, I guess, business that we use. Um, so they basically do all of our preventative maintenance for our compressors for the ice arena. So the chiller and the, um, the, Talk at a turn, uh, air dryer, um, and then they also do all of our equipment on the inside of the building. So like our, our heaters and um, our deep, our humidifiers and stuff like that. So with this new proposal, Serve Ice, they actually yes. Super What's sorry. an air dryer? Uh, an air dryer. I don't even know how to do, really describe it. It's just part of the big 
Uh, Prefer the humidifier or dehumidifier? It's, part? Yeah. It's the big chiller, basically, that's chilling all of our ice, and it, there's like a whole process to it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Yes. Um, so back to what I was saying. With Service, uh, they are a um, well-known um, business that has been servicing ice arenas uh, across Michigan, but also across the country. Um, they, they service a lot of local uh, municipalities just like us. They are very familiar with the uh, brand of chiller that we have. Um, so I'm very confident in their skills and being able to fix things and do it efficiently and in a timely manner. Um, like some of you may know already, our last bill that we got from Tech Mechanical was for $15,000. We're not looking to have that moving forward. We're hoping that these guys will be able to do it in a little bit quicker fashion and um, have a little bit better knowledge of, of ice arenas in general. So um, in regards to the price of it, you guys will notice it's about $1,725 for the year. Where Tech Mechanical, they were charging us $4,004 for the year. Um, the reason why the big difference is the preventative maintenance with Tech Mechanical, they covered all of our heaters and the humidifier and stuff like that in, inside the ice arena. Where these guys, this preventative maintenance plan is really just for our chiller and the air dryer. And DPS can actually take care of our heaters that are inside the ice arena. So that'll be a cost savings of almost a little over $2,000. So um, we're hoping to kind of move forward with this if I can get your guys' blessing on it. Mm -hmm. um, so then that way we can move forward with this new company. Looks like they, they service a lot the of- money that you're saving into Arcola Park. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no. Just a bunch of benches. <laughs> you already got a lot. They service yeah. a lot of ice cream in the area over too. There. That's kind of <laughs> nice. Yep. Uh huh. I've been hearing that. So this is for a one year contract? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Is there any questions on that? Dude, that air dryer is like a dehumidifier. When would they start? To approve it? Just call it a Oh, um, so let's vote on this. Motion, yes. motion to approve. Well, we, yes. have, we have to have a motion. Yeah. Somebody has, all right, I'll make a motion oh, oh, to okay. approve. Anybody want to second it? I'll second it. Sorry, Robert. Robert you missed that. Sorry, Robert. That's okay. All right, so, you so, so the, mo the motion so, is to switch. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. The motion is to approve the service oh, refrigeration incorporated. The service refrigeration proposed. 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 I make a motion to approve it. And I second it. Thank you. All in favor. All in, All in favor. favor. Aye. 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 All opposed. And so motion passes. Yes. Six zero. Wonderful. Passes yeah. six zero. Good job. Good job. Thanks. All right. When uh, do they start? When does this take effect? Basically, I'm gonna sign the the proposal, and then basically it'll start as soon as they get it. Okay. So. The, they will have like scheduled times when they come out and do the preventative maintenance and that'll be three times a year. So I'll work with them to get that scheduled and make sure everything's good to go. Once every four months probably. So, yeah. Is this something then that we'll be approving every year or will it just continue if everything goes well next year you'll just redo it? I would think if it goes well, they would probably do something with maybe a three-year contract that would come before you guys, and then that would that way you won't have to do it every every year. Makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm taking it as a one year. We'll see how it goes. If it goes good, they'll you know if if Brad gets a, uh, a contract proposal from them that says we'll lock in our prices for three years or five years, whatever, right. it would probably come back as that. Okay, thanks. As long as we don't have a $15,000 bill. Yes, agreed. Okay. Maybe let us know how their first inspection goes. Okay. Right. Soon, For sure. please. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, it'll be nice to have somebody that'll show up quickly. Yes. All right. Uh, To-do list. Anything needing special attention? I have some questions so you can... Tell me whenever we can ask questions. Okay. Fire away. 
we have any type of projection on when we think the top three might get done, or, or is, is that just going to be like maybe in the next year, or maybe in the next six months, or maybe? Depends on how much he likes you. <laughs> I would you know, think it's City Park, so you guys do what you want. Basically. I would think some of it would be a safety concern. Uh, some of it, like the um, the graffiti, I, I believe will be addressed quickly. Quickly, yeah. Um, cracks along the, the walking path uh, could be a trip hazard. Right. I think something like that would be addressed relatively soon. I don't think we're able to address that until spring. Probably yeah. not, but there, there might right. be something they can do. But, um, you know, I think a lot of this stuff will be based on, on safety mm -hmm. and issues like that. Um, and then some would be money. Yeah, like the benches would be financial right. stuff. Because those are like a thousand bucks a piece. There's somebody who can fabricate in the, in the DPW. Yeah, I'm sure we have welders in there. Yeah. But I, I think as far as liability issues, I don't think you'd want to do that. It would come back and haunt us mm -hmm. if yeah. somebody got hurt. Potentially, yeah. yep. Or unless we found a fab shop. You could possibly, but there's still going to be a liability where if you just buy something brand new and it's all put together and all set, you're, you're probably eliminating a lot of your, your, your liability issues. So there's, you know. And we have to be careful with those liability issues. We've already been down that road a few times. Mm -hmm. Right. I did have a question about the picnic tables. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility that maybe they could consider next year maybe storing the picnic table under the pavilions to get them out of the elements? Probably. See, I was, I was looking. If you put one down, one on top, double them up, you might be able to get up. Right now, they're all out there, and they're all going to get weathered, and they've always been weathered year after year after year because I'm assuming that's where you guys always put the picnic table. I, I thought we used to put them under the pavilion. No. I don't not during the winter time. I don't I don't remember, but I just know that since I've started a, a walking path, I just noticed that they're all there and I go, God, look at those pavilions. That would be a nice place to store them. <laughs> I thought we'd put them under the because I can remember them stacking them, you know. Like, I, uh, I don't know if you'd stack them on an angle or put one down, one on top. Whatever I mean, whatever way you're gonna get the most under there would be and that's not for me. Yeah. I thought they used That'd to be, I, they could have done that. Well, that's a, that's a fair question. Enough. I could definitely see. I mean, because I could talk to Omen and see what. Because there would. So that the thing is, is I'm thinking is, is that like painting them and stuff like that. You might not have to yeah. paint them as often because yeah. now they're not being weathered as much. At least there's some protection underneath the pavilion, yeah. and it's not like we want people to really have a fire and party under the pavilion in the middle of winter. Sure. And it's not like a lot of people are going to be using it in the winter. That's it. It's true. All right. So I can definitely look into. Anything else, John? Yes. Do we know if the Porta John is the Garden City's Porta John, or is the right behind? The, okay, where the post office is, yes. right on the walking path. Uh -huh. There is a Porta John right there. Is that the guy whose house is right there, or did the city put that there? We didn't put it there. I think it's the contractors that's working out there, right by the post office, next to that house. Yes, yes. Working but it's where? on the walking path. Yeah. It's it's oh. maybe from here to there from the walking path. Was it put in when they were doing the cement? Yeah, there? I think that's, that's the what contract. I'm thinking. It was done when they yeah. when they that's put weird. it. They were putting in the sidewalk because they were required to have okay. x amount of porta johns per per employees, and if it was within a reasonable distance, stashed yeah. back in in that spot, they may have just forgot it. Forgot it. I'll see if there's a phone number. As long as the city's that. As long as the city's not paying for it. Oh, no. Nope. That ain't us. Excuse me. That would be all I have this time. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. For the Florence Park one, if, if you get approved or the grant comes through huh? and you're putting the, um, the, the parking, the parking um, spaces out, uh -huh. is it going to be a bathroom there? Because it's not one there now, right? Right. Correct. So, and I know you said it's like basically area B for younger kids and everything like that so currently we don't have anything in the plans to put up a bathroom there um, 
that could be something that we look into. Um, at the very best that we could do right now is probably put a portage on there if we wanted to over the summer. Um, <clears throat> but like putting a permanent one there is going to be a lot more money. Uh, so. I was thinking like a porta potty or something. Yeah. Like that. Okay. But the other thing is, is in the master plan, mm -hmm. was there anything in there for a bathroom down the road or a porta I don't think so. I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember it either. But I could look. I could look at that. Maybe I mean, that's the only thing I'm thinking of. This is I don't been. think so. I think it would be really. Did anything? I think it would be bathrooms. really, really expensive because yeah. that the one at city or uh, at uh, Muller was. Yeah, because you got to run water it out was, there. It you got to run yeah, electricity sewer, out there. Mm -hmm. you got to have a sewer line and yep. everything. In reality, if you're going to do a bathroom, you should really do one at Kwana's when you do the when we do the yeah. the yeah. water yeah. thing. I think the Porta John is going to be right, right. the avenue to go. Yeah. Ooh, my when I rented <laughs> one for City Park back when we had COVID and everything, it was fairly inexpensive. When we it did? was like only like a hundred and eight dollars for three months or something like that it was very reasonable so i can look into that and they probably didn't have to come and clean it out that often either they were there like every three they days will, right they will go i think yeah. that's well, standard every they, three days yeah. problem is, is like kids would throw beer cans in there and pop cans and like when the guy tries to clean it out it clogs up everything and, but that's just well as long as they're not they tipping it with. yeah that well, happened too in it well, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah, tipping those things back over Good is boy, yeah. fun. Okay, any questions or comments regarding anything from new business? Nope. Okay, communications and upcoming events. All right, so I put in your guys' packets the upcoming programs and events. Um, I won't go over everything with you guys, but just to kind of give you guys an update of everything that's going on. A lot of this stuff we've already touched on, but upcoming events, we have uh, Tech Talk with Julie, which is um, for pretty much any age to learn about technologies and stuff like that. We'll have that on December 6th and December 20th. We have a parents' night out on Friday, December 10th. And then our Santa ride through the city is going to be Thursday, December 16th. Um, and that is when Santa rides around, and way, yeah. rides around with the fire department and police department leading the way. And then on Friday, December 17th, we have our senior Christmas party. Um, and then in January, just a couple of things. Our superhero skate will be Saturday, January 8th. Um, learn to play soccer, our next session for learn to play soccer and soccer skills. Uh, that'll start the week of January 4th. And then another parents night out on January 14th and craft night on Tuesday, January 25th. So. Those are just some up and coming events. And the mayor and council are not caroling this year, are they? <laughs> Never oh. caroling? Huh? Depends on how the voices are holding out. You know, I'll call that caroling. We had the parade, <laughs> we had the tree lighting that we were singing at last night. Uh, I, I, I don't think I saw you there, did I? Mm. I'm not sure, but. Uh, <laughs> wow. All you got to do is call me, man. <laughs> Ooh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's on the website. Questions or comments regarding communications and upcoming events? I only have one more thing. Sorry. Oh, uh, I gave you guys all a little packets. Mm -hmm. This is for us to go out for our next uh, playbook brochure. So we have Fretwell, EPI, Marketing, and Saturn Printing. Um, the, the challenge with Printwell, that is our least expensive one, um, but their quote is only good for 24 hours. So huh. it could be a lot higher, it could be lower, we have no idea. 24 hours? Yes, 24 hours, that's the only way that they'll do it. Who did we house. use last time? Uh, we did EPI marketing was our last one. And they were great to work with, they brought out a, a print to us, um, they delivered all of the brochures that we were gonna be distributing out to City Hall and Maplewood and Ice Arena. They dropped them off at our office, so they're pretty good to work with. Um, so they're probably the ones that we're going to go with, even though they're a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. But their quote lasts for 30 days. That's so instead of minutes. 24 hours. Yeah. So. Um, Do you think the quality of Saturn is twice the quality of EPI? You know, we tried to contact them to see why it's so 16, astronomically yeah. more expensive. Mm -hmm. 
and they still haven't gotten back with us about it. So we're still trying to figure they don't that care, out. And they right. probably just yeah. quoted it that way and said, if we get it, we get it. If yeah. we don't, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like the people up north. They just over, they, they overprice it because they really don't want to do it. Right. And they figure if you're going to pay them, if you're stupid enough to pay them that kind of money, then they have to do it. Right. We'll figure out how to get it done when, it, when we get it to the order. Yeah. So. I think these brochures are really great. Absolutely, me too. They work a lot, you know. Yes. They're fantastic. And what's cool is we'll be able to put all the codes in that we're going to put our online codes into here. So basically, a parent, if they look at nice. learn to play soccer and it's the code, you know, A, B, one, two, three, four, they can literally put it into the Civic Rec online registration software, A, B, one, two, three, four, and it takes them directly to that program and the day and the time and then that way it's even more specific for them. That's great. They don't do have you, to go searching through everything. Do you okay. think that in the future with the brochures that you might be able to I don't know what the code is called but you know the code that you can look up on your phone like if you're oh, going QR shop, code? Yeah do you think you could put those into the brochure so that the, so that people are doing it I mean I don't know if it costs a lot more but but it might make it Really convenient. That might be something to look into, right? Yeah. Because that way a mom could just go like this. Yeah, exactly. And she's in. Yeah. And she doesn't Smart. even have to go to the website. Right, Once exactly. Once you're into it. Right. Yeah. All right. Or maybe if there's just even one for just to get you into the city site. Yeah, we could just put it on the front page. Right. We're, we're, we're getting with the 2000s now. Oh my, <laughs> scary. Sign, me. Sign up for caroling and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to put one of those in there just for John. We're going to bring the horse and buggy back, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else, Brad? No, that was it. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Um, any questions or comments regarding any of that? Let's see if he's. Okay, open discussion. So, yep. The public is welcome to come up. <laughs> you. Uh, how's everybody today? Good. Good. How are you? Thank you. Is the fence around the air conditioning units? What's the status there? Yep. My next question is, what has ever come of the punch list item that I recommended? Uh, the other thing is, is when you start to use that in the summertime, are you going to set up some sort of exhaust fan? That would be a no. That's that a rumor. A no. I just tell you, I've heard the rumor. You might have heard the rumor, but that would be yeah. a no. that, would, that would be come from the DDA, which they did with the bacon right. run. And if there's any of you that are saying we're taking it over, we're going to have a long no. talk outside. No. 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 Hold on. No. Time out. No. <laughs> that was a, a comment by Mr. Kramus at the last council meeting that he was informed that the city, Parks and Rec, was taking over Santa Land Parade. That is a no. That was the, the discussion or the comment that he had come up with was uh, administration had said with, and you know it, as all those people were retiring and stepping down, that if, if the, the committee, Santa Land Committee, couldn't do it moving forward, the city would take it over. Parks and Rec would take it over. <coughs> As of right now, you guys have plenty of people, and it's it's all yours. So that was a comment that was made that they heard that they were they were because everybody was leaving. Right. And
Well, some of them are on the resident side, so the city can't touch them. You know, and I, I live close by there too, and I think that some of the residents like them there because they often just let it go because it's some blockage from the park. So the city has cut down what's on the city side, but if it's on the resident and side, they can't do much about it. On the west side, which is along Pinton School property. Yeah. It seems like nothing's been done there. Actually, and there's wires How much can we there. cut? Did we ever find that out? Because there's, if the, didn't we say that if the residence shrubs grow over mm -hmm. into city property, mm -hmm. we, we have to leave a certain amount of, we can't cut it flush to the line. We have to leave, I thought there was something that somebody was oh. looking into to see how much, because I don't think, think so. we I could cut we, it right to the property line. I thought we could cut to the property, to, the, right. to that fence line. Can we? Okay. Yeah, I believe so. Well, th I, that's what I can do at my house. Now what the city well, can do I'm is a different saying, story. Yeah, but, I would imagine but, it's the same as your, your house. Right, if that's your neighbor's what I, tree's grown over, you, you have the right to go straight up and cut yep. whatever branches you want down. Right. Absolutely. That, that would be something probably in the park inspections when it gets pointed out, uh, DPW would go out there, assess what it is. They know the, the, the ordinance and the rules and the laws. And then if it needs to be called into DTE, they can do that. Uh, that wouldn't be one of our, our calls to tell anybody to go cut. I mean, I'm coming cut. here because you guys are parks and rec. Right. We have and then parks where there is five foot from the property line, right. that is your responsibility. What, what we would do is get it over to DPW, who knows the law and the ordinances better than I do or mm -hmm. anybody up here, and they can address I'm it. I'm trying to fuel your thought process. That's <laughs> what my intent is. Give you guys a thought process of this is something we need to look at. It's being proactive by you. Yep. Because Perfect. Right. Thank sure. Thank you for your time. Sure. Okay. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. On the west side of Florence Park, there's wires that run above, right at the fence line. So it probably would be DTE, I would think, is responsible for at least that they're side, into, which yeah, is they're into, borders. If they're into the power there. lines, uh, that would definitely be DTE. Mm -hmm. And they can come and trim it. Absolutely. Absolutely. They should come out and trim it because they're supposed to be sent, spending, I don't know, seven or $10 million, in, from what I recall, in Garden City on the tree trimming to try and eliminate a lot of uh, the power outages that we had. That would be so. nice. Maybe you could check for your next part, for your first park inspection and see how it looks. <laughs> yeah, because I actually have DPS. They trim, we, we personally, Parks and Rec, went out and trimmed a lot of that stuff back along the walkway. Yeah. Um, during our park cleanup this past summer. So we have DPS every spring trim back the trees as well because it's almost like you have to hit it twice before the winter comes because it, it grows so fast over there. Yeah, there is so much of it. Yep. So that's what we'll continue to do, and obviously we'll check out the, the power you, lines. Too. Okay. Do you have any other on the fencing? Or that was just the cost, and we couldn't get anybody, right? Yeah. We had money set aside for the fencing, and nobody would call me back. I, I got one guy to come out from... Uh, the business over here off Ford Road, and he wouldn't even give me a quote. I called him three times after he came out, and he still wouldn't give me anything. So, so that'll be something we'll, we'll be working on, and I'm, I'm sure that's a supply and demand, and what we'll kind of if he if he has workers and all that stuff. And yeah, a lot of fencing but, companies that I did call, right. they like almost laughed in my face because they didn't have the. They were already backlogged on a lot of fencing that they had to do already, and they're like, "We're not taking any more business." And this was in July, 
and I was just like shocked by that. But you know, it's one of those things where going into the new staff, year, they might. Yeah, hopefully you know, they'll be able to. And EPS going. couldn't do that. With a ch with the way that it needs to be and kind of surround it, I talked to Oatman about it, and he was he wasn't really keen on doing it because those guys are like super busy during the summer. Yeah. So it's one of those things where if all else fails, I'm I think Oatman would be willing to do it. It's just one of those things we have to kind of maneuver. Are you guys looking to put the cyclone fence, or are you looking at like putting some sort of I was thinking a chain link to kind of like surround it, go on top and around, because we've already had some of the damage. That's what the issue is, and we have a liability. If it could climb up there and then fall, they're going to sue us. So we have to find a way to prevent them from hurting themselves, mm -hmm. either right or wrong. If it needs airflow, though, and to stay cool, the yeah. Yeah. A slap I think there's fence. a way to go to like either Home Depot, Lowe's, or Menards and find out if there's a contractor that might be able to do something like that. I would think so. I mean, that's what that's how that's all Home Depot and Lowe's uses. Right. I'm thinking if you're you know. having a hard time, if you're having a hard time getting something from local people, and mm -hmm. I know the local people are struggling. They don't have employees. They can't right. get materials. Yeah. They're telling yeah. people, "Hey, it's six months out before you want a new fence." Okay, it's going to be six yeah. months out, and it's going to be three times what it was last well, year when I told you. Because if you buy right material now, from Lowe's, they usually say, "I'll get a contractor to put it up for you." Right now in the winter, it would probably be a good time to reach out to some of them because some of the businesses may say, okay, I can spare two or four guys in, in March or April yeah. before my season right. Right. gets going. Yeah. Right. And we can knock that out. I'm sure it's a one-day job yeah. for those yeah, guys. One or two days. And I have my privacy fence put in in December, so these, I mean, I'm sure yep. it's not. It's not already backlogged. It's yeah. not, the frost isn't too deep in the ground. They can right. dig holes without a problem. So. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely just get the that. official <laughs> order out, man. Let it rip. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Anything else from anyone else? No meeting in December. Nope. Right. Open discussion. Oh, uh, meeting in December has been canceled. Just <laughs> Open so discussion for the table. Sue, go ahead. <laughs> She's waiting. Uh, no, I am good. I saw welcome. Thank you. I look forward to having you be on the commission and. Um, since we're not meeting in December, uh, Merry Christmas. Well, I think Brad's still trying to decide if he's going to buy us all pizza. I know, beer. we're still waiting for the, no, it wasn't, oh. wait a minute, no, it was prime rib and lobster. Oh, that's right, God, it wasn't pizza, it was prime rib and lobster, I forgot about that. Uh. Uh. Um, <laughs> that reminds me, we are putting together a Christmas party for staff and the commission on Saturday, December 18th from 6 until 8 p.m. I did send all of you out a email, I believe. Oh, thank you. Yes, you did. I got one. I so, has, if you can, at least try to RSVP me. If it's oh, you, just send me a text. plus. Oh, what? Wait, just so, let me know how many people you plan on bringing because we're trying to get food and stuff like that. Is when that did you say it was? December 18th. 18th. Yep. Right at that what time? Up, 6 to 8 p.m. And where's it gonna be at? The Ice Arena. Okay. Yep. Marvel. Are they gonna be able to skate? Yes. You'll be able to skate. And then uh, there is an ugly sweater theme. So if you have ugly sweaters oh. at home, please feel free <laughs> to wear them. Six to eight. Yep. PM. On the eight. And it's going to be prime rib and lobster, correct? Um, I just want to make sure we get it similar. on the record. Yeah, we'll just we'll draw that okay. on the pizza we buy you. Great. You'll get the I imitation know. crab meat. <laughs> oh, never mind. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Okay, open discussion no, just at the end. We can wrap up our thoughts if you have any. <laughs> okay, Robert. I think oh, over a whole First, uh, from work. after watching the news lately, what's been going on, I said this once before about four months ago, all the hatred and stuff I watched about uh, the kid at Oxford High, uh, Oxford, uh, high School. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, we need to try to just get along a little better, everybody. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's all that hatred, man. That's got to go. Do I can walk on your grass? No. <laughs> that is hatred. But there would be hatred. No. On both sides. No. That's there would be hatred. him eating you walking on your that was grass. Good, Mark. And you get mad at him because he walked like on it. Maybe I never walk grass. on his grass. I ride my bike across. I'm right there on your new grass. On the corner. 
caught a cross from the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't walk Ooh. away. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't like nobody walking away. We all know. He said so his dog can come over and fertilize your grass, yeah, right? I know, I know. He's always cracking jokes. He's a comedian. He's going to be on the show. At, at, uh, <laughs> He's going to be on that comedian show, uh, the comedy show? That's good. Yeah. And also, uh, say that again. Oh, yeah. Well, don't send him over my way. He may be all. Oh. Yeah, Henry yeah, Ruff and Marquette. Keep it quiet. <laughs> Henry Ruff and Marquette. Oh, you're going to tell him. You're going to tell him. You're going to tell him. Yeah. No, no, really, uh, I've had some kind of rough things lately. I had uh, my nephew pass. He was 53, died in his sleep. I had my 21 year old godson committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Oh he had everything going for himself. Just got his degree, just pledged for a oh fraternity. Oh, that's horrible. But he had, I did some research about diabetes, and he had diabetes. And diabetes brings on depression, real bad oh, depression. Oh, diabetes He was is, a young man. Oh, diabetes and, is awful. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, that's been going on. So I've been kind of in the snuff, but it's going to be a better day. I'm going to keep thinking like that. It's gonna be a better day. Go ahead. I'm Barrel's a new I'm day. I'm so sorry to hear that, but that's yeah. me too. Great. You still are preaching that good message. Oh, oh, like always, that. always. We gotta, we, we, yes. in order for this to succeed, Fox and Rick, we gotta get along. Right. Bottom line, there's nobody gonna come. Yep. Okay. Right. I'm done. <laughs> um, I don't have anything tonight. I've said enough tonight. I, I, said that I have nothing. Before. All right. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, hopefully we see everybody on the 18th, and uh, if we don't, uh, have a happy and safe Christmas and New Year. Yeah. And I'm welcome, Demita, and glad you're here. I make a motion. That we adjourn. We adjourn. Go. I'll second. Who second? I can't second. Why not? Yeah. Oh, yes, you made the motion, yeah. I second it. <laughs> it's done. It's all done. Oh, Robert, you know that. Oh, hey, yeah. I want to know, Robert, have you been in any, any, any more movies? I've been to any. No, have you been in?